That's what I call radical cam in my dart. Here's a little video. I have a 72 Dodge Dart Swinger. Got a 340 motor and purchased it from a person who passed away. <clears throat> and he was just about all finished up with it, but he left off a couple wires. And that being said, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Here, as I know, is a ballast resistor. There's a red wire coming off this. Comes out to about here, and it looks like it can tie into here. But there's a, a wire, you know, adapter here. But the issue I'm having is this is a yellow wire. It's like a black and yellow wire. And even though this matches here with the red, I'm not sure if it goes there. That's wire number one. Wire number two is a wire right here. This has a lead on it. Looks like it can go to a battery post, one of the terminals. And it runs all the way back, all the way back. And this goes into the firewall. Okay. So that's wire number two. So we got two wires there. And then the third wire is a wire right here. This wire runs to the front of the harness. And if I follow it, it goes in here, goes in here, goes in here. And I believe this is for the electronic fans that were connected after. Okay, so these are put in, and that's most likely the wire that goes there. Can't say for sure. All I've done to try to figure out what was going on is I bought a brand new alternator, put it in here. The only way I could test it was to have it hooked up to a battery uh, charger. And I clicked it on the volt setting, and this was getting no volts at all to the battery charger. So obviously I was thinking that this alternator's bad, the one I put in, even though it was new, and I put the factory in back in. So I don't know how to do ohm testing on that stuff. If I did, I could probably narrow this down a lot better, but that's where I'm at.